finally here comes the lifeguards. These guys are right up. There's a sick sea lion right here on the stairs. Did they have demonic acid? Well, maybe. You know, one got, kid got bit at Yalmar. They're full of, see? Is he sick? He looks sick to me. So, finally, the he's lifeguard has showed up, but there's red tide going on. And it's in these animals' brains. He looks sick to me. So you got demonic acid. Well, they said that one was washed up dead on the Hoya yesterday on the beach. So, yeah. red tide today? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm the biologist. Way red tide today. We'll see what about. No. Um, so, are you guys aware that the So that kid got bit up at Del Mar. You know about that? Yep. So they got they got demonic acid in their brain. A lot of them. Yeah. You know, it's a red tide from hell. It's the biggest in the history of the California state. It's very dangerous. It's it's extremely dangerous. I wonder if it's in. Well, it's the pseudo knot. No, this is the biggest one in California history. It's 800 miles long by 200 miles wide. Look it up. And he's a lifeguard. It's, they've issued warnings all over. You don't, can't yeah. see red tide. Um, you cannot see red tide. Is this here because of all the heavy rains washing out? Maybe because of the urban runoff. Yeah. But I blame a lot of them on the Fukushima disaster because the thing is, it's called pseudo nuts. So pseudo has been increasing. Pseudo is the Latin word for yes. not natural, not yes. genuine. So the healthy photoplankton has disappeared in the last decade. Uh, and so when it disappears, of course, the algae, and the, I've been documenting this since Fukushima happened heavily up and down the whole coast. And it's been a cute radical catastrophe, and it's just getting worse every year. And like you said, but the thing that on this urban runoff theory, you think it'd be the worst here or L.A. or San Diego. You know what's the worst? Santa Barbara and Ventura. And there's not a lot of urban runoff to where it's the worst. Well, I know the Ventura does a lot of um, produce farming. Yeah, chemicals off it. Yeah, no so doubt. That's what I was thinking. No, um, that's why I meant by you know, like all the yeah, no doubt. the fertilizer runoff. Uh, that's generally what no we're doing doubt here. that's a part of it. It's unarguable, but you know the acute catastrophe didn't really start till 2012. The starfish disappeared, so I blame a lot of it on the Fukushima disaster. I was just up at Scripps. They don't want to hear it. They're in. They're in full blown out meltdowns, pushing water on for 10 years, throw it in with some urban runoff, some fertilizer, and a whole bunch of sewer. Not to mention the sewage nightmare we got going on. But, you know, he, I can't see the red tide. He says, <laughs> you can't see the red tide. Well, He's I getting confusing it with the bioluminescence. Yes, yes, I think that's what he meant. He did. Yeah. And so, you know, he's just a lifeguard. But the head lifeguards here are have, supposed to have biology degrees, but he's not the head guy. But, you know, so is this guy sick on the stairs? No, Possibly. You don't think so? No, I've, I've been here since dawn. Um, they're all pretty active down here. Oh, good. The only really, we had um, a, a sick female pass out on the beach um, a week and a half ago. Um, two weeks ago. Um, but so you watching the shit out of them. <laughs> I've been babysitting. Good for you, man. But... Not so much time today. There was one dead on the beach there yesterday at La Jolla. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's unarguable. It's blared all over the media. It's everywhere. Now he, like I said, he's just confusing red tide with bioluminescence. The unhealthy, which they're they're go they're twins. They're connected at the hip. You know the unhealthy bile. So, I don't know. It's pretty scary, actually. No starfish. No sea anemones. Well, keep up your good work. My name's Kevin Lynch. Yeah. Pleasure meeting you. Thanks for the info. It was nice meeting you.